people to be in power to teach people that have their shit together. I feel good. Delulu, I feel good. bro. It's not delusional. Delulu. Like you, learned, you learned a lot about you learned a lot from me. Huh? I can learn a lot about you. From you is a, that's You learned different. a lot from me. YouTube live? Shati, isn't it crazy what one word can do to a sentence? Huh? That's crazy. You learned, did you not learn from me? I could learn about you. Did we not learn from each other? We learned about each other. So we didn't from? learn. That's your problem. I'd like to give you hey, a yo, hey, hey. see what you Everybody learned. here. All the men here that hurt her feelings, oh my God. it's your fault, sucker. <laughs> Because she don't want to admit, acknowledge that we had a great lunch, great conversation. We I, had a great lunch. All right, and you learned from me. I taught you some things like you taught me things. This is what, this is A, Delulu. B, this is also projection. Every time a nigga wrong, I don't know who hurt you. Why are you responding like that? Have you not been hurt before? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. And so, so I, have you, but So the I'm way standing on a hill that has merit to it. You've been hurt, yes? I would just love y'all to know we went to a goddamn Spanish restaurant. <laughs> That's and eight. we learned about each other over great conversation. And actually, just so y'all know, Frog, Cap, that nigga actually has an inside voice. I was shocked. Nigga, I literally asked the waiter to move us because I was like, person coming kind of loud. Don't want the kids to be bothered. Yeah. And you actually had an, in an indoor voice. I was shocked. So I hope y'all love the character that is Queen Slip. That's what happens when people get new <laughs> teeth. They talk a lot. Wow. And it looks good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you look good. How much you Thank pay you for it? Thank you very much. Don't do that. Mm -mm. Oh, that's a cool. Don't be in my pockets. We're not pocket question. watching. We is not pocket watching around here. Mm. Don't do that. A bitch did go to Columbia. <laughs> Show this. Think I'm a dentist. <laughs> Not you adding questions. So, so what That's I'm saying good. is that what I'm what I'm saying is that, and people like when I read comments on you, oh god, they, they're they, not good ever. They say how loud you are. They say that you huh? overtook your, you know, you, you know, <laughs> guests and stuff like that. I don't know. Okay. I haven't, you know, I haven't watched it really. But I did tune after I met you. I went to go watch something. I like you. I think you're dope. Thank you. I think you're dope. I mean, there's a lot of people that think I'm dope but too. But I, I feel like your ego is too big to, for you to acknowledge that. Oh, I ain't gonna hold you. You learn from me. You're not gonna sit here and humble me. Yeah, I hope you My ego is big because I fucking work hard hey, yo, for everything. Hey, yo, that hey, I do. Yo, if she, you if, ain't gonna humble me, nigga. If she start doing YouTube live, she got it from daddy. Oh. Daddy's home. This is really your daddy. That's daddy's crazy. home. That is crazy. She got it from daddy, nigga. And I, I, I put her on the air because I want to. I want her because she's ill. Hey, hey, hold that. Learn from me, nigga. When you do that, you think of me, daddy. I birthed a lot of these niggas in these lane, nigga. And she don't want to acknowledge that. <laughs> What's the problem? Nice smile, beautiful, nice eyes, cool, great conversation. But the fact remains that she cannot find herself to hum be humble when it comes to a man. She has to show to me. To be humble too? You have to humble wait, yourself wait, around wait, 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 wait. me. God walked in the building. Humble yourself because you, humble me because you a man? Facts. And a man that can teach. Allow a man to teach you. Everybody's not you to make all that money on your own. You lucky. Round of applause. She made money. She made money. Wow. On her own. And ladies, this is, well, actually, fellas, this is the exact oh, example of patriarchy where sometimes you just got to silence yourself to let these niggas believe what they want to believe. No, it's called it's, it's called okay, no. it's called shut down and read. No, it's called narcissism, but go ahead. I am. But also that's an overused word. I'm a word, narcissist and I'm ahead. a manipulator. Oh. Hello. <laughs> I acknowledge it. I am. I'm here to manipulate the world to get what I want. Everybody manipulates. You see, when niggas talk about manipulation, they don't want to acknowledge they manipulate. You manipulate your boss when you want time off. You, you don't know. You, that's, you don't manipulate. That's you request manipulating. time off. That's, no, that's manipulating. You, you request time if off. If you call your boss and say, hello, I'm sick, you're manipulating no, the situation. No, but sometimes people want time off for real that reasons. Is, it's manipulation. You're not no, telling not. the truth. It is. Not everyone lies to get time off. Why you ain't show up to your pod the other day? We took which day? Was, was there a reason? What day? Was there a reason? Yeah, my, you in my contract. Sick. There was a reason. In my right? contract, yes. Okay. Yes, but you manipulate your boss. You manipulate police not to what? give you a ticket. Do you hear this man? Let's talk about it. You manipulate men to. to, to <laughs> you manipulate. You're the biggest manipulator. And, and I see how you do it. Like your how eyes. You, one moment. Your the fact, eyes twitch. The fact you got that an you, eye twitch. The fact that and you I just, think it's sexy. The fact that you just went to just admitting that you're a manipulator. I am. All these ways that you are. I'm a narcissist and a manipulator. How the fuck did it get to you calling me a manipulator? Because a fellow, I, I can acknowledge a fellow <laughs> manipulator. What is he doing? Can you not? I can acknowledge that you're a manipulator. I don't manipulate nobody because I'm honest as fuck. Honesty has nothing to do with manipulation. It means I don't sit here and tell people things in order to get them to respond how I would like them to respond. A lot of people, that's why they're in the comments not liking me. Because I don't speak 
hoping that y'all all like me. I speak from my experience, what the fuck I say, what the fuck I feel, and if you don't like it, go argue with your mother. Do you, so, uh, first of all, that's rude, don't talk about people's mother. I don't care. Do, oh, do, I will talk about your ugly ass kids. If I do not like you, oh, I go fucking- She talks like that? I will go to hell she does that? and drag you. Yes, I'll talk about your kids. I'll talk about your mama, your dad. Do you think it's respectful to talk about people's kids? Like, you don't have any yet. If you talking shit about me and we taking it to hell, I will disrespect you. It's not about respect anymore. As soon as you disrespect me, I'm going to go to hell with Let you. Let me ask you a question. This is why Nick... The answer's this no. Why they gotta sign. <laughs> this is why she got to sign that. No disparaging. <laughs> the answer's no. Yeah. Yeah, you can't disparage niggas. <laughs> Who? Make sure you read my contract, too, Who? that you just signed. <laughs> you can't disparage nobody. Not me. I'm on your ass. Okay. Hey, they don't want to smoke with the dad. They don't want to smoke... Listen, here's the thing. I respect you. Look, watch this. Watch this. I'm just, I, you I know, I'm going to be looking and rolling my eyes because. I respect you. I think you're great. Mm -hmm. I think um, as a businesswoman, I think as a businesswoman, you need to go, you not need, you should go and speak to people and tell them how to be successful. I do all the time. I think you're amazing. That's why I have a, I a love lot of tears smile. around me. Thank you. I, I love that twitch that your eye do when you try to focus. Your eye doesn't now, twitch. Now, actually, what happened is I just got back to getting individual lashes, and this shit kind of yeah, you know what I, You know what I'm talking about, exactly. No, I don't know what you're your talking about. Your eye twitches. I don't I, I don't acknowledge twitch. everything. And if it's twitching, it's because I had two shots so, of double espressos this morning. But by me saying that to you, I do feel like, I do feel like you need to humble yourself and allow a man to lead. I feel like that's why you, that's why you in the situation we are in now, single. Yes, yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. I put I, I put was... them to sleep, figuratively, <laughs> physically, mentally. Yo, chill, definitely Go mentally, because yeah. what you're saying is a buzz. Um, no, I allow don't a man to... to leave. And cool. I see you over here. If you, I see you over here stressing yourself out. I got seven. Hours. Allow a man to help you. Allow a man to massage your feet when you come home and and, and make you feel comfortable. I would love to let y'all know. The manager at my studio is a black man. Salute. My nigga. Leadership in this business. Charlemagne the God has been a great leader in my businesses. I work with black men that lead all the time. Uh -huh. Like my manager is making full course studios in Brooklyn, New York. Great. I work with a lot of black men. I talk to a lot of black male podcasters and give them all the knowledge that I know. I don't think to so. To help them. I don't think so. Okay. I think you know that. I think that, you know, how old are you, 33? I'm 32. I think you know that your time is coming up, so you want to, you know, you want to try, yeah. yeah you, you, About what? Your time. You know, I think you know your time is is, is coming, you know, like Kevin Samuels said, your time is... For is what? My time is coming up for what? Your time is dwindling. Yeah, don't, don't squeeze the cup. So... Don't squeeze the cup. Yeah. So here's the thing. We got to. So don't here's squeeze the, the cup. I think you know your time is coming. My so what time you try is coming to do, for let me, what? Let me finish. I think you know your time is coming, so what you try to do is overcompensate with aggression. So you could just not be even like, aggressive. You are. Mandy. I'm a lover. I'm not a fighter. Overcompensate with aggression when you don't have to. If you sit down, like, the shit I see and I read, if you sit down and really talk to this woman, she's fire. But she overcompensates with aggression to, to show that uh, I'm every woman, uh, black power. You're what? not the you're not you're not Black Panthers. You're not wow. the Black Panthers. I'm every woman. It's me or what else? I stand for all women. Sometimes you need to humble I, yourself, I, and it be the ones like this. Hold on, I that stand, have a nigga. I, I stand ten, for the right for the right women. Ten inches in them. Hold on, calm head down. on the headboard, you all night know. going to sleep. I can't cooking spaghetti, <laughs> not spaghettios. Yeah, I shut them down. Look, look, you look, done? Look, look at her face. I got her. I got her. Look at her face. You just said a whole bunch of nothing. There'd be women like you that overcompensate Mind you, with no, I'm not overcompensating for anything. You acting, you acting like my time is up. I don't want children. I don't seek marriage because I can provide for myself. I would like a partner, yes. Did you ever, when you were younger, you never wanted to get married? No. What's your background? Never. What's what do you mean, what's my what's background? What's your ethnicity? I'm Jamaican and white. Jamaican and white? Who's Jamaican? I'm Jamaican. My daddy. Are you in tune with your Jamaican side? Very much. I, I didn't grow up around my white side, so all my, I only grew up around my Jamaican side. Really? Yeah. Jamaicans want to get married from Jamaica to get papers, nigga. So marriage was instilled. Fuck you talk about. Who you talking to? My daddy's still here on a green card. And that Sh nigga ain't married nobody. Pops, that's my man. Nah, my, not too much on him. My, my daddy man. was cool, not married, not a damn bitch. How much, kids, he, how much kids he got? He's such a hoe. I'm surprised he ain't got more. Exactly. Oh. I'm surprised he ain't got more. Jamaican men are the biggest cheaters. They are the biggest liars, manipulators. Oh, it makes sense. 
narcissists, Jamaicans. That's where they breed them from, I think. And then they just all of them up here. Now, my daddy, my daddy only got, apparently he might got a new one. So I'd say three and a possible. Have We'd you, still continue that hand in spades if, uh, did you, if we were playing. Did, did, you, did, you suffer, did you suffer from abandonment issues? Did you ever feel abandoned before? Mm -hmm. This is not therapy, uh, for one. I pay my therapist uh, very well. Um, and I wouldn't want any advice from you. But no, I don't think so. Therapist. If, 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 if therapist. I, I don't think there's abandonment issues as much as there's just like uh, poverty, PTSD, and not wanting to. Oh, yeah. God. What? Everything has to add new meaning to it. Abandonment. Have no. you ever felt abandoned as a child? Yes or no? I abandoned by the government, maybe. Shit. Okay. Because when the food stamps stopped, we stopped getting them goddamn public subs and name brand cereal. Was so your, I was abandoned by the government did you, did, and the SNAP program. Did your dad live in the house with you? Uh, in the beginning. Then, he, when like he, until I was like four. Okay, now when he left, how long? Uh, how, what was the gap until you saw him again? I spoke to him again. Oh no, we we saw him, like, by ourselves with him. Mm. You want to say something to me, Shati? Huh? You want to say something to me, or are you just stretching? No, I'm just, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I just, gotta dot, you know the lights. I'm just saying, I feel like she do got abandonment issues. Okay, go ahead and be the narcissist and tell me my problems. No, I'm not telling you. I feel, I feel like I don't think that I can't tell you your problems. I'm just saying my assessment that you suffer from abandonment issues. Okay. How do you assess that? I can't get into that. Wow. I can't get into that. Next question. But you're afraid, to show, you're afraid to show people the side you showed me. And I noticed that. Well, no, like, nobody, no, no, no. That's like, a... like, like you, you want people to think that you're a bitch. You're oh, not... no, no, no. I don't want people to think that. I don't want people to think people that. People call you a bitch. That's fine. Oh, shit, another question. The, you know what? The problem is people hear what they want to hear all the time. Um, I realize, too, um, working with your mans, working with Char, working with people, shit, seeing you. A lot of people don't like you. I didn't like you. I thought you was loud and obnoxious. To me, you're doing something right when people don't like you. I'm fine because I know I have just as many supporters. Nigga, I'm on a 19th City tour. Niggas is spending their money to come see me. I've been on two tours for both of my pods with sold out shows. So while a lot of people don't like me, you read the comments. I have just as many supporters, which is why I'm here today. Why do you think people don't like me? Why you didn't like me? Because you're obnoxious and loud. Probably the same things that people say about me. Okay, but then I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm. And it's even worse for me as a woman. We just supposed to sit there and be quiet. I'm obnoxious and loud. Yes. You're obnoxious and loud. Okay. Not in person though. That's why I said it's cap. You wasn't obnoxious and loud at lunch. Or after you turned the cameras off at gym studio. You were kind. But them cameras come on. I don't know who the fuck this nigga is, bruh. But I'm gonna sit here and talk to this YouTuber. Cause off these cameras, you ain't the YouTuber. You're a kind father. You have an inside voice. First of all, that's hey, why, why you And then now the people that do know you actually like you. And I'm, I'm I don't a... think people would think they would like you. I'm an entrepreneur. Don't call me a YouTuber. <laughs> That's number one. Number yeah. I have YouTuber? A, yeah, shout out to her. If she goes on YouTube live, I, have, I did that. Like, you got fucking equity in YouTube. Come I do. do you? I did that. I'm daddy. I did that. I'm daddy. You'll be calling me daddy soon. Listen, over a million subscribers by himself. Over a million. What is it? 13, 13 1.3? If I you would combine hope the channel. Over a million. You've only been on there for about 15 years. Not, not, that's not true. <laughs> okay. That's not true. Yeah, about 13. When I moved here, you was doing them raggedy ass Chinese food place skits with women, and that was at least 2012, 2013. So at least 10 years. Wrong. I went viral in 2015 with my son in the car. And after that, so you won't get, like get, 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 get your time together. Yeah. And that's not 13, 14 years. Okay. And you hate it, and you mad. <laughs> they mad. They mad. Look, they mad. Why is she mad? I'm not mad. She's mad. She's sitting here talking to a self-made boss like herself. Like, but a like nigga myself. that did it from the... I got it from the... Nigga, I shine in the mud, nigga. I like to be in room with like-minded individuals. I shine in the mud. Nigga, I lay with the pigs and come out gold. You know why? Because I know how to navigate through dirt. They don't know how to navigate through dirt. She don't know how to. She don't know how to navigate through dirt. This man loves that he can complete huh? sentences, y'all. She loves to hear himself oh, talk. I do. I do. Because I do. what the hell you be saying? Listen to it. I know how okay. to navigate through dirt. Do you know what that means, ma'am? Keep going. So what I'm saying is that... I've overcome adversity. I, there you go. go. You got it. it. You Ooh. got it. Ooh. See? And she don't want to acknowledge the fact that she understands she has to be combative. She has to fight me instead of saying, yo, I, I respect that, Flip. 
and, 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 and have us on even playing field. She don't want to do it. She wants to be like, uh, 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 uh. She's manipulated like me. And I fuck with her. <sighs> she came in here and looked amazing. I like how she put herself together. Um, show me some old pictures and videos of her. Don't do that. Washed up. Don't do that. I done, been, I done been about five different people over the last 10 years. Really? But that's fine. Oh, if, if you come to my tour, um, we literally play old videos just to show how long we've been doing this, which we started after you. Um, but 2017. And, <laughs> and, since, and since 2017, I've had a lot of changes with my weight, with my hair, with how I do makeup, everything. I'm not ashamed of my journey. I'm not ashamed of my journey either. Let I me shared. Say, let me say this. And I cheated. I had surgery. I, salute. Uh, me too. Not not a BBL, none of that, not lipo. I had uh, the gastric sleeve. Well, I got the ESG. There is no ESG. ESG. It's VSG. No, uh, it's what? Oh, yeah. the endoscopic sleeve. What uh, is that one? Where they 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 stitched my stomach. Small. That that was mine. That's the VSG. No, I had the ESG. But how we got? Why they call different things and we got the same shit? Because you put a sleeve on yours. I didn't. Mine's got stitched. No, that's smaller. what mine did. They took out eighty percent of my stomach and stitched it. But they didn't take out my stomach. They just stitched my shit smaller. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, We're, we are not scientists. Do not listen to anything. I, Do not take medical advice from us. I want to say this though, real quick, before because we have to get to our sh to, to show. Yeah, we should, because I didn't agree to do all this goddamn BTS with you. You said this one episode, the manipulator. He said, come and do my black and white show. Now he about to get three, four content pieces out of me. Scammer. Rest and he does this after yeah. I sign the waiver. At this point, I'm about to walk out this bitch. Rest in peace to Combat Jack. <laughs> Rest in peace, yes. Uh, they gave me an opportunity to uh, record at their studio when I first started my podcast. Mm -hmm. And as you know, the first episode, which was in, what, 2016, JR? And in 2016, right, I had a woman give head in the studio. Mm -hmm. What's the name of that studio again? There was that. Uh, what's the name of uh, Engine Room? Engine Room. Yeah, because I was also with Loudspeaker. I don't know what research you did, but continue. Now, if you talk shit about anybody over there, I'm going to bust you in your shit. I can never talk about Comrade Jack on Loudspeaker. Never. Okay. I'm um, shout out to the rest of the piece of Comrade Jack. Um, they asked me not to come back. <laughs> um, the screen went out. They asked me not to come back because of the woman giving head. Now, I was on some Howard Stern, Starbuck Wild shit, but Comrade Jack called me on the phone and said that, you know, before he passed away, how extremely proud he, proud of me he was, and that meant a lot. So I definitely wanted to just take my time and acknowledge that and acknowledge the grace acknowledging me as, as one of the anomalies that come in the game and take over. I mean, you got people like Star, you got Tax, and you got a Queen's Flip. You got Mandy. Um, no, it's about me right now. Is it? You just shouted out hella other niggas. Because I don't know any women, woman that's doing it. Like me, like I us. know. I mean, me. how did you Fuck do you it? Fuck you, me. But how did you do it? This is the problem. You cheated. Zero respect in this motherfucking game. Get your shit off. No, seriously. Get your shit off. Like, everyone, I everyone thought it was so easy. Oh my God, y'all talk about sex. So, of course, Horrible Decisions was going to be great. No, it's not. Do you know how many fucking sex pods there are out there not doing what the fuck we're doing? And then not only did I do it with that show, came back and started another pod. They got a seven-figure fucking deal. Fuck out of here. Talking about... And then that's the other thing. You brought up my age and that time is... All of my peers, niggas decades plus older than me. Everybody 10 years plus older than me in the same space that I'm in. So imagine where I'm going to be when I'm them niggas' ages. Fuck out of here. Talking about there's no one doing it like us. All right. Me, bitch. I think about your here. time is almost up pertaining to relationships. No, it's and not. Then, yeah. I, niggas always gonna be around. Dick is available all the time. Do, how, how much mileage you want to put on that? I don't, get, nigga. I'm not a car. Country road. I hate you. Country <laughs> road to a place I belong. West Virginia. Fuck Never out been here. here. You done? Fuck out of here. You done with and your little? You, you done with your little? With your little singing? I can see a nigga wanting to get you pregnant. Oh. I can see a nigga want to trap you. I can see. That's fine. I'll pull the vacuum out. I'm not having nobody's kid. Oh, shit. Bring the vacuum out. And if I got to travel to a blue state to do it, if this shit change here, she I She talks sure bullshit. Will. I'm going to tell you why she talks bullshit. She Go go in front of them clinics and, and, and fight them niggas and argue with them niggas that's stopping people from going inside. Who argue with somebody? Yeah. I'll be like, bitch, move. Horrible decision. Get go the in fuck front out of them. Of like, Yo, let them niggas go inside. Bring the vacuum out, nigga. Bring the vacuum nigga out. Nigga going to get you pregnant. You can't swallow all them kids. Yeah. Huh. 
You can have all them babysitters in your belly. You right. Bring the vacuum. That's fine. Um, take the vacuum away. I'm, you bring the vacuum. You got me saying it's more. That's fine. Put the kids on my back. I'll give them a piggyback ride. Don't <laughs> <laughs> yeah. be fuck out of here. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that was good. I'm a little funny. Wow. <laughs> you gonna be on guard with that wow. one. Wow. Oh. Uh, all right, let's get to the show, man. Shout out to you. man. Surprise the woman is funny. Hold on, wait, wait. What? Never fails. <laughs> Jesus. But why, why do you think, I, I mean, you impressed yeah, me with how quick you came back. I kind of does this. Again, I'm your peer, nigga. Shit. I'm, I'm y'all niggas' peers, whether you want to respect it or not, right okay? Shit. You said you were my peer. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Behind the scenes. I hate him. Shout out to Shati. Shout out to Shati. That's not, you don't know him like that. I mean, I worked with him. Yeah. Again, because I'm your fucking peer, nigga. <laughs> nigga, right we done there. did business. He done shot a couple of my merch drop videos, nigga. Shati? Yes. Yo, you call you a traitor, man. <laughs> oh, you love that word, huh? Yeah. Just because it's being used for you. I want to use you for me. <laughs> Go ahead. Use use me. That's what men like to do to women anyways. Come on. I'm going I'm to turn up. Let me get my question. Bro, that's... Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Now he ready. After he done got all this extra content. Yeah, I wanted to get that out of the way. 